I need to have it there so that if I come across someone that's not saved, I can open it up and show them yes, how, to, how to give their life to Jesus. Yes, I can tell them and show them what it's all about. <laughs> we need to carry our sword with us. Yes, amen. We need to keep it with us. There's churches today, the pastors will say, no need to bring your Bible to church. Just listen to what I tell you. But you need your Bible. You need to be able to follow along. And you need to know if he's preaching the truth. Yes, amen. And we encourage all of you to bring your, your Bible. Always bring your Bible. Yes, sir. Always follow along. Yes, Don't just go by what we say. We, we believe we're teaching you the truth. But don't just go by what we say. Go by what this is. Amen. Because this will never fail you. That's right. Okay. This is your map through life. That's right. Okay. It's your guide. It will give you direction. Right. Whenever you're hurting, the right words are in these pages. Amen. Whenever you feel weak, the, the word is here. He says, when, when I am weak, then am I made strong. That's yeah, what the scripture yes, says. Yeah. He makes us strong through his word. Praise God. Hallelujah. And then, then it says, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching there unto there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints praying always praying will keep us because we are praying to the one that died for us the one that is almighty and powerful yes, amen. the one that it's all about yes amen Praise God. Hallelujah. Whenever you're on your knees, Hallelujah. you know, that's the way we fight a battle. Hallelujah. That's the way we fight our battles yes. is when we're on our knees. Our spiritual battles is when we're on our knees. Amen. And there's nothing greater than praying. That's how I believe. I believe that every church needs the altars. Yeah. You know, these altars are for souls to come in and to give their heart to the Lord. There's many tears that are embedded in these altars over the years. And, and the Lord sees every tear. And he understands. And, and, and even if you're already saved, you may come to the altar and seek God for help. I believe it's important that we have altars in our church. Praying is very vital with our walk with the Lord. It makes us strong in the Lord. Yes, it, does. It, it gives us power with the Lord. I thought about, about Jacob whenever he was wrestling with the angel, it said, which I believe that that was the Lord Amen. that he was wrestling with. Amen. And the Bible says that he wrestled until daybreak. And the angel told him to let go. He said, let go. The day is breaking. He said, I'll not let go until you bless me. And uh, the Lord said, you have favor with God and with men. And he said, you will no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. Yeah. Glory to God, because you have prevailed, he said. And we can pray, and we can prevail. And we can seek God and for an answer, and the answer will come. Yes. We may not know when, but it will come. Yes, it will. That's right. Daniel prayed 21 days. It took 20, I believe it was 21 days that he prayed before the answer came. But it came. Yes. See, there was a spiritual war warfare going on that, that held it up. But the answer came. So your answer will come. And I can't myself personally, and it's probably the same way with you, but a day cannot go by without me praying. Amen. A day Amen. cannot go by that I don't fall on my knees and that I don't pray to my God. And then I find myself praying all through the day. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I have a hunger and I have a desire to pray to yes. him and to seek him. 
I love him and he's my life. That's how I look at it, Sister Janet. He's my life. He's the reason I'm living. He's the reason I'm here. It's in him that we live and move and have our being. It's his breath that we breathe. I have a desire to seek him on a daily basis. A night doesn't go by. When I go get ready to go to bed, I'm praying. I don't want to go to sleep without praying. I want to wake up with him on my mind. Amen. I want him on my mind throughout the day. I want to go to bed with him on my mind. Glory to God, because he's my life. And that's the way I look at it. And I've had people ridicule me and criticize me and say, Sister Sharon, you're just too old-fashioned. But I'll, I'd rather be old-fashioned for Jesus than die and go to hell. Amen. Praise God. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. That's and right. it should be that way. And I believe that's what God was telling me in this vision. We've got to build our rock, our foundation upon the rock of Jesus Christ and make him our focal point. Make him our life. Be strong in him because we're on a journey. And the devil is out there doing everything he can to knock us off of our feet. He wants to discourage you in one way or another. Hasn't he tried? Hasn't he tried to discourage each and every one of us? But we can't become discouraged. we got to hold on. Yes, amen. Hold on and be strong yes, in the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We've got to become mature yes. in his word. Yes, amen. There's people that are in churches that have been there for many years that are taking the milk of the word. Amen. They haven't grown up in the Lord yet. But the Bible teaches us to come to that place of maturity where we can eat the meat of the word. Absolutely. There's so much in this Bible. Yes, amen. There's so much to feast oh, upon. Oh, hallelujah. And we need to reach that place of maturity. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that we've arrived that doesn't mean that we will know everything. That doesn't mean that we are uh, the strongest person in the world. That we have got to become mature yes, in the amen. word of God. Yes. Become rooted and grounded in it. Because if you don't, the devil's going to knock you off your feet. He, he will succeed in what he's trying to do. To tear you down and to destroy you. So become rooted and grounded in the word. Reach that place of maturity. A baby has to start off with the milk, but as it grows, it gradually goes into uh, vegetables and meat and things that it, it, its little body can handle. And a new Christian, they have to grow. You know, they can't just stay in that one place. They have to grow, and they have to take it in little by little until they have become a mature Christian. See, if you're a mature Christian, then you have a stronger chance of staying on your feet. Whenever the devil comes at you, he won't be able to knock you down if you don't allow him to. Just, just be strong in the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the message is the message of salvation. Amen. Whenever you're witnessing to somebody, don't just go up to them and say, do you go to church? I'd like to invite you to my church. That's a wonderful thing to do. But say, do you know Jesus yes. instead? Do you know that he can save you from your sins? Did you know that he can deliver your soul and set you free? This is what we need to tell them. It's the gospel, the, the true message of salvation. This is what they got to hear. And I thought people in this vision, I saw people just bursting through the door. They just start coming in. Whenever you preach the message, see, this is what people want. 
this is what they're looking for. Some of them may know it and some of them may not. But they're looking for peace. This, we're living in a troubled world. And there's people out there on alcohol and drugs. Their lives are tormented. And they're looking for an answer. They're looking for peace. And they don't know what that is. But if we tell them about Jesus Christ yes, and let them know that He is their hope, he is the one that will bring them out of their situation. Amen. And he, he will give them peace in their lives. This is what we need to tell them. The message of salvation. Praise God. Sometimes uh, the Lord will show us things in, in ways that we don't understand. And... Uh, Maybe that's why he gave me this, this uh, little vision. It's because he was, maybe, maybe I needed it more. You know, I may already know, and, and, and I may, some of these things, and I may be living for the Lord, but sometimes we need to be reminded of things. It helps us to stay strong in the Lord whenever we're reminded of things. Yeah. But maybe someone here tonight needed to hear it too. Yeah. Maybe yeah. you've been going through some things and, and maybe the devil has been fighting you and maybe the Lord is trying to make you stronger. But the Lord knows who you are. So if, if everyone would just bow their head tonight. And I know maybe we're all Christians. But see, I don't know your heart. And no one really knows your heart. I don't care if they're a family member or if they're your spouse. That you, even your spouse don't know the depths of your heart. But I know someone that does. And that someone is Jesus Christ. And maybe you've been battling something. Maybe you're trying to live for the Lord, but you're battling. Maybe there's something that the devil's using against you. And you need to be free from that. You need to be free from it. And the Lord's here tonight to make you free from whatever it is that you're going through. If you would just put your trust in Him and realize that He's your hope. He's your answer. There's no other answer in this world. There's no one else in this world that can do for you. What Jesus can. And if you're that one, I'd like for you to come tonight and just let us pray with you. You can kneel down at this altar or you can just come up and we'll lay hands on you. But don't let the devil beat you over the head. Don't let him drag you down and discourage you. Put your hope in Jesus Christ. He's right here tonight to deliver you, to help you, and to make you strong in Him. We're, there's plenty of people here that have been through battles themselves, that God has brought them through things, and they're here to pray with you tonight. So if you want to come, just come on up. The Lord is here. The Lord is here. And He wants you. He wants to help you. He loves you. He paid the price at the cross for you. Glory to God. Prayer wars come up. And just pray around Sister Lillian tonight.